In this video, we'll discuss in-process audits in the EAN Suppliers app. In-process audits are audits that have been submitted by the auditor and are in the review phase of the audit. In this example, we will review audit 221824. If you scroll to the bottom of the audit screen, you'll see a section called Audit Review. You can click on this section to expand it. Once the audit review section is expanded, you will see information such as cycle count, auditee days, staff days, task group days, and cumulative response delinquency days. Additionally, you will see information regarding audit NCRs. Lastly, you will also see a card titled Auditee Feedback. To complete the Auditee Feedback, you can click on this card. If you notice that there is a pencil icon, that means the Auditee Feedback must be completed. If a check mark is present, that means the Auditee Feedback has been completed. Additionally, if you scroll back to the top of the audit, you will notice another area indicating that the auditee feedback is currently incomplete. You can also click on the provide link to complete the auditee feedback from here. To view NCRs on the audit, click on the NCRs tab. This will display a list of the NCRs on the audit. To view an NCR, click on the NCR in the list. Pertinent NCR details are on the left-hand side of the screen. NCR responses are on the right-hand side of the screen. To begin an NCR response, click the plus icon at the top right of the screen. Enter your response in the Auditee Response field. First cycle responses contain six response areas which are required. Subsequent responses contain a single response area. If you have attachments, they can be attached in the attachments area by clicking the plus icon and then clicking add file. Once you have completed your NCR response, you can click the submit response button to submit your NCR response. If you are not yet finished or ready to submit your response, you can click the save draft button. This will allow you to continue your NCR response at a later date. Please note, submitted NCR responses become a permanent record on the audit report and cannot be changed. Once all of the NCRs have been responded to, the next step is to send the audit for SE or Staff Engineer Review. Click on the audit you would like to send for SE Review. At the top right of the screen, you can click on the ellipses, the icon with three vertical dots, to bring up a menu, and from there, you can click Send for SE Review. Please note, failure to respond to each NCR prior to sending the audit for SE Review may result in a loss of a response cycle. That concludes this video at this time. I want to thank you for taking the time to view it. Be on the lookout for more uh, of these videos to appear on our YouTube channel as we build them. Thank you again. Have a great day.